Hello, Cup Coders, and welcome to the Cup Coach server. Uh, before I even start my timer, and we, before we get into this this particular video, I have I have to make a I have to make an apology. I, I really do. Uh, I want to explain what happened with the last video. Um, essentially, the first thing, the, quite a few things happened. Actually, the first thing that went wrong is DX Tory. I well, starting from the beginning. <laughs> in the beginning, there was DX Tory. No, seriously, is I've been using a, a borrowed copy of DX Tory. I have a friend of mine who had DX Tory. He's been using it to make his videos for a while. Um, I asked him if I could borrow his copy for a while until I could get my own. And he was willing to let me borrow his copy. In the meantime, while I was using his, he was using something else. I think he's been using Fraps or something like that for the last several months. Um, so I finally broke my wallet out and purchased my own copy of DX Story. I liked it enough that I decided to get it. Um, the real reason I borrowed it to begin with is because I didn't want to buy it without trying it. And so, yeah, for the last two or three months, I've been borrowing it from him. And he's been graciously letting me borrow it and let me play it, play with it and see how it works. And it wor it's been working great. Um, so what happened was when I bought my own copy, I uninstalled DX Story and then reinstalled the new one with my, own, my license code. And when it did that, it lost my settings. I was kind of hoping it would keep them, but it didn't. It lost all my settings. So... I went back and I thought I had set everything back up and as I do before every video re recording session, I checked the X-Story and make sure that the audio channels are set right and I didn't look well enough because both audio channels were set to record the game sounds, not my microphone. Alright, so that's exactly what happened is I went through the whole recording session, recorded the whole video and went to go render it only to find out, oh my god, I have two channels. Of game music, of game sound. I didn't have any channels of my voice. So all of my vocals for all of my videos, save for one, were lost because I hadn't set up DX Story correctly. Now, since then, when that when I noticed that happened, I went ahead and I re-recorded my voice. I went ahead and dubbed over the video. But then apparently I forgot to amplify my vo my vocals before I published this last week's episode. So some of you, when I was watching the video, thought, oh, well, there's no voice. It's a silent movie. <laughs> yeah, actually, my voice is there, but it's so quiet, you can't hear it. That's the problem. So if you take my video, now, God forbid, don't do this because it'll hurt your ears from the game sounds. But if you, if you were to crank up the volume on my video, you might hear my voice. Um, so that's a one-time occurrence, hopefully. The only time I expect, and only other time I expect this to ever occur is when DX Story gets updated. Um, God forbid, but like I said, I normally do check it. I just, for some la reason last week, I was just rushing through my setup pr procedures and I didn't check it. And that's all my fault. So I have to apologize. I have to say, I am sorry. I am very sorry that that occurred. I, I really am. I mean, I thought I had fixed it by dubbing over, but then I forgot to amplify my my vocals so I apparently didn't fix it at all I just wasted my time and I'm sorry for that I apologize to you I know last week's episode was well boring to watch because you don't have anyone that's talking to you you just see me running around and I know you see me standing there like what is he doing he's being a lump on the log just standing there well I was talking but you couldn't hear it all right guys well I think that does it for my apology um, I am going to go ahead and we're going to get started on this show. As you know, my inventory is empty. So I'm going to go ahead and hit my timer now. We're going to head down into the basement. I've actually made some changes off camera. Do, 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 do. Oh, 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 let me stop, stop timer. Hold on, hold on. One more thing, one more thing before we get into the, in, into the changes. One more thing to tell you about. Um, there is a poll on my website, www.cupcodegamers.com. Go fill it out. Fill it out in the poll take the poll do it do it now what the poll is is i'm trying i've always tried to make it so that it's easy for players to get onto the server all right unfortunately when you're playing with mods that does complicate it for 
some players. And I got to admit, not everybody's tech savvy. Okay, so some people do have problems installing mods. I get this. I understand. So that's why all this time the only mod that I've made required is Ars Magica. You know, other than Forge Mod Loader because you need that in order to load the mod. I had a thought. I had an idea. I was looking through the Feed the Beast mod packs and I found Magic World 2. Now, this contains Ars Magica 2. It also contains Thaumcraft and a whole bunch of other magic related mods. No, this does not contain the technology packs. This does not contain nuclear bombs. This does not contain trains, planes, automobiles, or any of that technological mumbo jumbo. We are a magic world here. We are magical people. So I'm thinking possibly of changing the server over to be a magic world to server. That way I can still do the Mars Magica stuff like I do but we'll have other stuff involved too. Now, as you know, me, Quartz, and Chalupa have been hard at work building a new spawn. Yes, yes, we have, we have, we have, we have. And this new spawn will be copied over to whatever this server becomes. So the intent is that this new spawn will be the central hub of the server. I, we've been trying to build it in such a way it won't break put it that way um unfortunately it could still break if it does we'll fix it but hey whatever so that's the that's the idea so if think about it go i've put some pros and cons on the page on the site and there's there's a few pros there's a few cons one of you know like for instance you know because there are more mods in it um it may run slower on some systems some people may have problems with it may not you never know no, so check out the website www.cupcodegamers.com. Read what I wrote about the about this thought about this idea, and put in your vote. Cast your vote. Even if you're not on the server right now, please cast your vote. All right. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to set up the, the server to make it easier for players to log in. I mean, there's nothing easier than Feed the Beast. You download Feed the Beast, you select the mod pack that you want to play, and you click launch. It handles everything for you. So much easier. You know, the people who are not tech savvy can do this. You can do this, man. So that's what we're looking at. Go vote. Catch a vote. Um, also, in addition to that, I really want to get more people on the server. We, we don't have a lot of turnout. So if I would really like it if you could email me, magus96 at cupcodegamers.com. Let me know what it would take to get you onto the server. Tell me, what will it take to get you onto the server? I want you, 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 right there. That's right, you, watching me. See, you're looking at me. Come on, come on the server. You know you want to. All right, so with that said, we are gonna go back <laughs> and to recording and start the timer back over again. Here we go. Actually, hold on, stop, reset. So we're back at 30 minutes, going. All right, so like I said, I made some changes down here. Uh, pretty much, I left this as it was. I mean, I liked, I liked the way she did. I was uh, initially, I was going to take out all the chests and make them single chests like I normally do. But then I thought about it. I was like, no, I like the double chest effect. So I went ahead and reorganized all of it into my organization system. All right. If you guys have been watching me for a while, then you under, you might understand my organization system because I'll have one chest which is treasures. And then I'll have the mob chest, which is all the mob drops. See, mob drops? Bada bing. And you also know that when I stack them, all the chests that are stacked will hold the same thing, essentially. So this will be my mob drop chest, and when it gets full, it'll overflow into this one. That's the general idea, see? Yeah, yeah, there. See, we got some cobblestone there. Cobble and stone. I don't know why I changed that, because normally it's just called cobble. Uh, it is cobble and stone and then dirt sand and gravel then we have wood and we've got all my tools which here we go oh wait i am missing a spell i am missing a spell hold on i think um home bro house i think i i think i put it in the bro house here it is no oh no i did not lose my spell where did i put my spell no! This can't be. This can't be. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I know where it is. Hold on, hold on. Duh. 
I know where it is. Uh, yep, yep, yes, I do. Okay, so we'll it, it's it's in this house. I'll we'll take it to it and show it to you. Okay, so then there's mob jobs. You know, you you've seen the mob jobs. Yeah, see, yeah. Then of course there's my treasures, which you know, iron, gold, diamonds, redstone, all the more rare finds will go in there. And then of course my plants and seeds. I decided to put it here because well we've got these nice gardens. QB one is built for us. And then we got books. This is where I'm gonna put my spell books. After you know create them and stuff and then clay and snow and junk drawer and then other materials now if you, you all know like if you watch my my wizard training videos you know that the upstairs chests are what i consider my junk drawer well there's two chests up there one of them is the junk drawer and the other is the tool tool chest so the junk drawer is essentially the catch-all of anything that does not fit in any of the other categories hence you see I got an iron door, I got some paper, some gold inlay, affinity tome. You know what? That's a book, isn't it? But I'm going to leave it here. Arcane essence, because I haven't really come up with an right place to put that. Actually, we're going to move that. Yeah, that's, yeah, we'll leave it there. We'll leave it there. It's fine. All right. And then glass. You know, so it's basic stuff that just doesn't really match in the other categories. All right, so let's go upstairs real quick. I've got some other stuff that I dumped, I believe, in a chest right at the top of my stairs here. There it is. Ding, 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 ding. Um. Okay, well, it does look like I lost my spell. Ah, oh, I bet you, and I guarantee you it's my fault. I must. It is my fault. I believe that it is my fault. I used clear inventory and I lost my spell. Fudge. All right. Well, we're going to have to contact, I think, Adrilone was the one that gave it to me. So we're going to have to contact Adrilone and see if I can't get another copy of it. But at least we still have my blaze spell here. So let's grab some basic tools. We are going to go mining this episode, I think. I don't know. I haven't really come up with a plan yet. We well, don't have a plan. Yeah. Don't got a plan, Stan. Okay, we don't need that. Yeah, I think that's good. Oh, I definitely want to make use of this magic broom somewhere. I'm thinking upstairs. I should make a place double chest upstairs so it'll make my catch-all. Um, the idea is that at the end of the episode, I can just throw out everything on the ground. The magic broom will pick it up, throw it into the chest. And that way I can make sure I don't lose any of my items like I just did. All right, so let's... Oh, yeah, another, thing, another change I made is right down here. Uh, remember, in the last episode, when you saw I came down here, you saw me fighting some monsters that come up here. Um, what you didn't hear was me saying, I'm going to have to build a room down there. So that's essentially what I did, is I continued the stairwell all the way down, and I make a nice little room right here, so that mobs cannot get into my house any longer. Doo -doo. And as you saw, I went down and I started prepping the nether portal. But we need... Uh, and before I can go into the nether, I have some prerequisites. First, I need to replace that other spell. Second, I need some armor. We need, I want some battle mage armor. I mean, we're at level 37. We can handle this stuff, right? So that's the next thing we need. Let's see, we need this. Oh, wait, no. I know what it is. That's the chest at the top. My previous house, I went and I tore up. I tore up the, the altar. The spellmaking altar and my nexus. So that's where all this came from. So we're going to use this to reproduce all of that here. Um, and in addition to that, let's see, this and these came from that little fountain monument that was given to me. So I went ahead and dug it up so we can place it here. We I wanted to move it here. So we're going to find some place right over here to place it. I'm thinking right here. Right here is a good place. Right in front of this window here. What do you think? What do you think? So we'll put this right... No, 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 no. Over one. Out one. Out one. Put it right here. Just like that. Now, I don't know... Yeah, because if I place it right on top, it's not going to work. Ooh, we need some dirt. I'm going to go back down in the basement and grab some dirt. Oh, that's right. Oh, I forgot about that too. Yes, I am out of dirt because 
I had a glitch and all of my dirt <laughs> disappeared. Um, I dug up the chest and it I thought I had picked it up, but apparently I didn't, and it disappeared on me. I mean, literally, it was like seconds, so I don't know. All right, so we're going to grab... Oh, man, I don't need dirt. I don't want to do... Okay, I guess I'm going to do that. Uh, do I have gravel here? No, I don't. No, because that would have been with the dirt. Duh! I mean, I can use wood. We can use wood. We can use wood. What I'm trying to... I'm trying to avoid using stone because stone requires a pickaxe and I don't want to have to use my pickaxe more than I have to for stuff like this. So. Now you'll notice that I set the doors as public. That way both doors open and close at the same time. Isn't that awesome? Alright, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to set this right there and build it up. I'm going to set this right there and build it up. And then we're going to put this right there. Bada bing. Just like that. Just like that. How do you, how do you like them apples? Ka ching Put that in there. And put that right there. Bingo. So now we can pick these back up. Looks like I didn't get pick that up, huh? But I did! I did! I swear I did! Alright, and I'm going to go ahead and show you the other change I made. You can probably see it already. I wired up the public chests. I made them, obviously, they are now called donation chests. So you guys can put stuff in, but you can't take anything out. But I can take stuff out, obviously. I've wired them up so that these will light up if there's an item in it. For instance... Da bing Put one over here. Da bing That'll let me know. I can just look out my window and say, hey, I've got mail. Yeah, buddy. Perfect. And I'm dancing on my mailbox. All right, so we have to go. What I'm going to do first is right over here, we have a nice, big, but nearly bottomless pool of essence that was graciously given to us by QB1. Here it is. Check it out. Um, I'm going to waste this top layer because I like building my, my thing down into it. But what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and we're going to build my Essence Nexus right over top of this bad boy so that it will charge up. Now I do need to get... We're, we're, unfortunately, I'm going to have to get some more chalk. So we can do that at another date. But so let's get to it. Let's let's just not ain't, ain't nothing to it but to do it. So let's do it. Oh wait, I did not need to do that. That was just plain idiotic. Watch this. Leave it there. I don't need to do those corners because they're coming. They're being covered up. When I say this is nearly bottomless, I am not kidding you. This is nearly bottomless. You can look right down there and see. Okay, so there is a bottom down that that bottom. And there is a bottom to this bad boy, but it is a ways down there. So I tried going down there the other when she first gave me the house, remember? And I nearly drowned coming back up. All right, am I going to have to go down into the water to pick this stuff up? Yes, yes, I am. Boop, 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 boop. All right. On my side here. Weird. Okay. I'm going to cap this well off so little children don't fall in and drown. <laughs> and this will give us... A fairly infinite supply of energy. I won't have to worry about it. Now, what did I have capping this? Uh, the coal block was for the altar. Oh, I guess chisel stone is the only thing we can cap it with, isn't it? Bum, ba -da -bum. All right, it's getting dark. Let's go make our chalk and get this thing powered up. It only makes sense, right? God, this is a big house. 
So much bigger than anything I'd build. He's awesome. Alright, so we need blue chalk. So I need lapis. And then the basic chalk ingredients. Which would be... My, no. Alright, first thing. Where's the clay? Clay and snow. So we need a piece of clay. Um, a piece of paper. Was that in a jump door? Yep, piece of paper. And a piece of flint. Move some of this out of the way. Get out the way! Now I said we need lapis. That would be over here in the treasure box. If we have any. I do. I do. And... I'm drawing a blank here. Oh, I think it's arcane ash. I'm pretty sure. Let's try it. Let's try it. Pretty sure. And this is a non-shaped recipe. Okay, so maybe it's not arcane ash. So if it's not arcane ash, then that means that it is ventium dust. Bada bing, there it is. All right, so let's go place our blue chalk, and that'll get that started powering up. And then we got to find a place to put our altar. Um, now, I definitely want, my thing is, you know, at first, we were thinking about maybe putting my magical stuff in here. But with my, which I might still do that. We might still, I don't know. But the only issue I have really with doing that is that, okay, well, I have to put, the dark nexus outside okay no problem we get that but my na my other axis my essence nexus is way over there so then i have to wire up some system to draw power from over there and bring it over here and and they have to be within 10 blocks of each other that's eh, too much to handle with so what i might do instead is i might just go ahead and build all of it out here it, it i think it's better this way too um because then i can build you know Obviously, I have the Essence Nexus right here, but then I can build the Dark Nexus a little bit further out. You know, still within my range, like right over here, maybe. I think this, where is it? Bingo. So there's the edge of my property line. So right over in, in this area here, you know, we'll raise this up to be level with everything else and build us a Dark Nexus over here. So that way it's still in the dark area so creatures might spawn, which I'm not seeing any creatures spawning. That's just weird. And there it goes. Powering up. So that'll have near infinite. Now when I say near infinite, that means way more than I will probably ever use. All right, so that's a good idea. I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to leave that there. Let's see. We want... And we're going to build our actual altar here. One, two, three, four, five, six... Seven, eight, nine, ten. So there's a, there's a tenth block right there. So that's how you know within the range. But I always I don't like pushing it. So we're gonna build it right here actually. Hold on, what is this? Is this more essence? This is more essence. Oh, no way. All right. Well, I mean, odd, but okay. Well, we're going to leave it there because we'll just have to remember that it is here. All right. So that's where we're going to build right there. That's going to be the center of it. So going out. So this is a five by five. So it's one. Come on, break. Two. Sucks about the dig spell. Let me tell you. That's one, two, right there. I hear a monster. I hear a monster. Where is he at? Gotcha! Ooh, look at all the monsters spawning now.
must die. How dare you trespass on my property? I'll kill you! I'll leave you over there. You're good. I've got work to do. Meh. Meh. So. Oh, break this stuff up. Ooh, I want to catch that if I can. We are almost done digging the hole. This is the foundation. Everything built starts with the foundation. This is the foundation. Essentially. I mean, yeah, essentially. All right, let's see. If I remember correctly, we had... Oh, I would think it was stone bricks in it, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, because there's stone brick, stone brick stairs. So that, that's good. So we're going to take this dirt and move it out of here. We need to build this thing quickly. I don't need seeds. What am I doing with seeds? Get out of here. Oh, look at them. Aren't they so pretty? Missed. Can't hurt me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. You'll notice that I don't build to the center, but that's because in the center goes these, or this. Oh, we need more magic walls, too. That's right. Oh, I can't forget that. We'll have to do that, too. Three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Where are you at? Where is he? Ow! In your face. Go away. All right, now next after that we need do 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 these bad boys. Click, 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 click. Right like that. Let's see what else do we need. We need. I don't know. Uh, let's see. We need. I know I need those. Grab that dirt. So we're gonna make our little. Oh, yeah, we're not letting that creeper blow up on us. Of course, creepers can't break blocks here, but I still don't want to take the chance. I'm trying to get into the habit of not letting them break stuff, you know? All right, here we go. Oh, that did not work out too well. Yeah, it's all right. We'll just do this. It's okay. God, I need to cut the grass. The joys of being a landowner. Lawn mowing on Saturdays. Almost done. Okay, we got that part done. You son of a... Urgh. That is not where you're supposed to go. Oh, I hit it in the wrong... Duh. It's my fault. Plop you there. Plop you there. Alright, and we have this thing that goes in here as well. But, the truth is, you're not supposed to set that down until the last block. Because sometimes it can go awry. But I'm going to drop it up there anyways. Notice it is invisible. Because it doesn't work, man. You have to have everything in place. And then it's like, oh yeah, there it works. Okay. Alright, put the caps on. And the only thing we really have left to do are the magic walls, which those would be simple. I think I've actually got some in a chest downstairs somewhere. Oh! Jeez! 
I must be famous. Everybody's just walking onto my property saying, hey, look, it's mages. All right, so we need to go find some magic wall. Find or produce, one of the two. And I think it's time we go eat. Definitely. I'm going to take a quick detour. Yum, yum, yum. Yum, delicious cake. Sponsored by Chalupa. <laughs> Sponsored by. You like that? Sponsored by. All right, magic wall. That would, well, that wouldn't really fit in any of the other categories. So that should be in the junk box if we have any, which I don't remember seeing any in there when we looked in the junk drawer. No, I don't. Okay, so we need stone and we need Pentium dust. I need two pieces. Two pieces. So let's go check out the stone chest. I'm gonna go get stoned, dude. Uh, I don't have any stone, so we need a piece of stone, really, really fast. Actually, hold up. This is the furnace I put coal in. I don't have coal in all of my furnaces. It's just too much. Look at all those furnaces, man. Too much, man. I really should go and fill it up, but it, you know, I have to go mining and get a whole bunch of coal to fill them all up. So I'll probably do that off camera because it's just tedious and boring. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. We will see. Now, you, I don't know. You probably saw me in the last episode. I went through the portal to find out where it went. And it comes back out at spawn, which is a good thing because that means nobody can come through the portal to raid my house. Well, my portal cannot be abused because it redirects you to spawn, which was the first portal. All right. So there's the stone. That's not dirt, that's stone. I need stone. And seriously, I keep putting it down and it picks it back up. And we need one, two, three, four, five, six. We only need six. So we can put the other ten in the chest. Oh, you know, we've got more stuff too. I'll probably organize all that off camera, but it's okay. Yeah, almost complete with our moving in and building. Oh, yeah, this goes out here, too. Come on. Thank you. And I am going to make that a private chest. Um, you are, you guys are aware how I work my stuff. I put the book on the thing, and I start filling the chest with the recipe ingredients, with the spell ingredients. So I don't want people stealing my spell ingredients while I'm working on stuff because it does take me a while sometimes. Like, you know, I might start on this episode and not finish it until like two episodes from now. So there's that. And we're going to put the chest right there. And we're going to leave that as a private chest, just like that. All right. Next thing we need is the lever. Clink. All right, we have our spell crafting altar all ready and ready to go, essentially. Now, I have 29 blocks of quartz. Now, if I remember correctly, we had started to build a light nexus, and I think we should go ahead and do that right around here. Uh, one, two, three, four. See, I didn't leave enough space there. That's okay. Um, I want the dark nexus behind this. So we're going to put the light lart we're gonna put the lart nexus over here god i really need to cut my grass sheesh one two three four five you know what hold up how many spaces there's four spaces over here wasn't it two three four yeah four four blank spaces two three four and so then we start building it here Like that. Ooh, I'll take that. Thank you. Give me. Give me. Arr. And notice again, once again, I'm not placing the corners because we're just going to cover it up. All 
I think it was glass that we had on top of it. That's right. We did have glass on top of it. So I'll have to go make some more glass or see if we can make some gold or diamond. I seriously doubt that I have enough diamond, but never know about gold. I could have enough gold and just don't realize it. There we go. All right, now we just need to put the chalk down and the caps, and that one will be ready. I think the next thing we need to build is the nether or the dark nexus. After this, we'll have a dark nexus behind it. Um, don't technically need them all at once, but eventually, you know, we might need them. So there is that. Oh, I'm just walking back and forth on my house. This is ridiculous. That's like a marathon, man. All right, well, I think I'll go ahead and organize this stuff off in, into its chest off camera, but I think that's going to be it for this episode. Um, we did get a little bit a little bit done. I managed to get, you know, some of my my altars and my nexus transported over. Um, so you're aware the old house has been taken over by Cupcake Mama. She has decided that she would like to have that house, so I have bequeathed it to her, so she now owns it. All right, guys, as always, a like, comment, and share. It lets me know that you care. I want to say very much thank you for watching, and don't forget to check out our website, www.cupcodegamers.com. See you in the next episode.